So today we're going to be going over six of my favorite Creed Aventus clones or inspired by fragrances. Now this is something that still comes up often here on the channel. People asking what are some of my favorite alternatives if you don't want to spend the money on Creed Aventus or if you did spend the money on Creed Aventus but you find yourself really liking it, you're wearing it a lot, you're burning through it quick and maybe you want to have something that is similar that you can wear more often and maybe save your main bottle for special occasions. Here are the six alternatives that I tend to reach for. We're going to go and start this one off with the most obvious out of this entire list. When you think of a Creed Aventus clone, I'm sure you think of this one first, and that would be Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man. So this one kind of is the, the main deal. Whenever you think of a Creed Aventus clone, this one is thrown around almost every time. Now there's a few different versions. I believe there's an EDT, the original, there's no de Parfum, and there's a new Parfum version. So they've got a few of them out there. I'm really just referencing the EDT. That's the first one that I had and just kind of the one that I'm talking about. But realistically, you could go for any of them. I do actually have the new Parfum. It's packed up in a box right now, but at some point I'm gonna get around to testing it more and maybe doing a full review on it. With that being said though, Club de Nuit Intense Man typically is gonna run you around $40 or so for like 105 ml, I believe is what it is, uh, online on discounters. I will link this along with everything else down below so you can pick these up for a good price. Uh, it puts it as one of the more affordable ones. Most here in this video will be more affordable. Um, so price point is great. Performance has always been really good on my skin with this one. It's one of the better performing um, Aventus style fragrances on me on the affordable side. Uh, I've never had an issue with it. The only drawback to this one, at least when talking about the EDT, is the opening. You've heard it before a million times. The opening's a bit harsh. Now that is fixed and kind of smoothed out in some of the other versions like the Parfum and the EDP, but if you were to get the EDT, just know that going forward. All around though, if you're trying to get into an Aventus smelling fragrance at a fraction of the cost, check this one out. Uh, with the arm off here, it has a little bit more of a smokiness to it compared to newer batches of Aventus, which are much more fruity overall. Very birch and oak moss and, and smoke heavy uh, on the arm off. So that's kind of a cool little tidbit as well. Now we're gonna go over to a much more expensive alternative. This is from the brand of Parfums Vintage. Now, there are so, so many that you could choose from, like a lot. And uh, for me, the one that I just tend to reach for the most if I'm kind of going for a Parfums Vintage one is Pineapple Vintage Intense. That's kind of the main one that put them on the map. It's, it's the hype monster of the line. They've got Emperor and they've got King and a whole bunch of other lines. So many different iterations and batches and other whole different ones that you just, you could really spend a lot of time and money going into. But for what it's worth, for me, Pineapple Vintage Intense is kind of my favorite one. You know, of course, you're getting a good dose of pineapple, bergamot, black currant. It's fruity and bright. So that's kind of the direction that this one goes in. Uh, it's not gonna be too woods heavy or too smoky. You know, it's definitely more of a, a summer Aventus styled scent, you know, with all the fruits going on and, and kind of the citrus and all the freshness going on there kind of makes it great for a, a hot summer day. That's when I like to wear Pineapple Vintage Intense. Again, price point's gonna be up there a bit more, usually around $100 or so, sometimes a bit more. Uh, not the way to go if you're trying to uh, stay on a strict budget, but the quality is going to far exceed a lot of the other cheaper ones, so just kind of uh, something you have to come up with yourself. Next up, we have Mercedes-Benz Select. So this one's got apple, blackcurrant, bergamot, ambroxan, birch. You guys know all these are gonna have you know a similar note breakdown. Now this one usually is gonna be about $35 as well, kind of like the Armoff, somewhere around in that range, 35, maybe 40. The testers of these do not come with caps. That is one thing to be aware of. Um, but you know, if you don't need a cap, you can save a bit more money that way. I actually really like the Mercedes a lot, uh, especially at the price point that it is and the fact that it is a car designer brand. A lot of times you may be wondering just how good it will be, but the quality is impressive. It opens up very, very vibrant and juicy and bright. Out of all of the ones here in this video, believe it or not, Mercedes-Benz Select has my favorite opening, or at least it's right up there. I mean, the opening on it is so incredible. It's so bright and uplifting and, 
and it has so much depth, you know, it, it isn't two dimensional or flat or boring. I mean, it opens up with a bang, with a sparkle, with a pop, and that does carry through for a good while into the mid and dry down. It will start to flatten out as time goes on, and again, for the price, for the budget that they're working with, that is to be expected, but uh, all around for, you know, what it costs you on discounters, it is impressive stuff. I really like Mercedes-Benz Select. Even Select Night is really good as well. That one, nothing like Aventus, but it's a nice vanilla scent. Uh, the fragrances here in this line are of great quality. And Mercedes-Benz Select is good stuff. One of the only issues with it is performance will be a bit less uh, than some of the other ones here. I forgot to mention the Pineapple Vintage Intense, a great performer. Um, with the Mercedes though, it's dialed back maybe six, seven hours. Next up, another very popular one, it's Mont Blanc Explorer. You guys know the note breakdown. It's gonna have the bergamot. Uh, it has some sort of other type of wood note in here. I don't remember exactly what it is that they were using. Not a clear wood, but I wanna say it was something else. Um, just, you know, your typical fixings for an Aventus style scent. Now, the only thing that I don't really like about Explore is that for me, it does kind of really get a, a little bit watery in the dry down. And what I mean by that is it kind of loses some of that impact. The opening is really nice. It smells great off the top. When you first spray it right away, you know that it is an Aventus style scent. It's definitely pulling heavy inspiration from that. Um, but as it dries down, you do lose some of that richness. Whereas with some of the other ones here that we're talking about, they're able to maintain that throughout. The Mont Blanc, it kind of falls off a little bit. Uh, that being said, it is still a very nice alternative. Also about $45 for 100 mil, making it very affordable. I can't complain, I like Explore. I like to feature it, I like to recommend it because I think it's a good scent. Performance is decent. It's usually gonna be in that seven, maybe eight hour mark as well, depending on your skin, which is not terrible. It's not the best either in comparison to maybe a couple others that we're gonna to get to here, but still, I really can't complain. Now this next one is still very much an Aventus inspired scent, but it takes a different approach. It's also gonna be more uh, expensive here, being that we're now working over to a niche scent. Uh, this one is Nishane Hassavat. So it's got pineapple, it's got a heavy dose of oak moss, there's a black currant in here as well. Um, now if you're shopping in the right place, you can get this one for $149 for 100 milliliters, which for a niche scent is a great price. Uh, let's be real, if you put that into perspective, that is on par with some new designer releases at retail. So I mean, what, YSL, Y, Le Parfum, what is it, retailing for uh, upper 100s? something like that, 167 something. Uh, the new Aqua de Joe de Parfum, 4.2 ounce bottle, 142, it's kind of working its way up there. So all things considered here with the Nishane, if you're shopping in the right place, again, that link will be down below. It's really not too terrible. Definitely much more affordable than the Creed, but still not gonna be a cheapie. So again, the main thing with the Nishane here is that it's very, very, sweet and heavy. Um, the pineapple oak moss combination is rich. It is strong and definitely not gonna be the most warm weather appropriate. I've had to scrub it off before in the warm weather because I did too many sprays and it just really wasn't pleasant for anyone involved. It's a strong scent, it's a big performer. Uh, 12 plus hours is not out of the realm of possibility. In fact, most of you will probably get that and it'll still keep going. I know for me, it's always been a great performer. Just very, very strong stuff. Not your typical, you know, Aventus smell like some of these other ones. Still heavily inspired, but just with much more going on. Either you like it or you don't. And we're gonna end this video with another niche fragrance. It is Wilhelm Perfumery's Morning Chess. You guys know the deal, the bergamot, the ambroxan, black currant, all of that stuff is gonna be in here. Uh, this one also has a little bit more of a sweetness. However, not as much as the Nishane. And so why I wanted to feature this one was because, you know, we kind of have focused on a lot of the ones in here being very fruity, heavy, very bright. The Nishane obviously goes completely opposite, much more sweet and kind of syrupy. And so what would be a good middle ground? For me, I knew it would be morning chess. You know, it kind of fits right there in the middle. 
You get some of that brightness, but you also get some of that syrupy sweetness, but it's not too far in either direction. For me, Morning Chest is kind of that hybrid. It's right there in the middle. And so if maybe it's a spring day or a fall day where you're looking at kind of middle ground temperatures, you know, it's right on that point where it's not really cold, but it's also not really hot either. That's when I would wear Morning Chess. On a day where it was cold, I'll probably go Hasavat. On a day where it's hot, I'm looking at Pineapple Vintage Intense, Mercedes-Benz Select, you get the idea. And so again, I just wanted to feature this one here because it's a little bit of a compromise. Uh, price point also isn't too terrible on this one either. Still niche, still gonna be pricey, but not as expensive as the Creed. And you could shop around and get it for maybe a little bit of a lower price. Uh, if you do get this one from Twisted Lily, you can use my code CHAOS10 to get 10% off. Alrighty guys, I think that's gonna do it for me. That is six of my favorite Creed Aventus clones or inspired by fragrances. Uh, yeah, every now and then I do find myself reaching for these. Even though I've got Aventus, I've got Aventus cologne, I don't need to wear alternatives because you know I've got a good abundance of Aventus. But sometimes I actually want that different take, that different twist, because at the end of the day, all of these do offer something different. There is not a one-to-one -one clone out there. No matter how hard you look, you're never gonna find it. If you want a Ventus, you have to get a Ventus. But these do did these do get you close, and close is great. You know, a lot of these get you really close, but they still have their own little twist, and that's what I like about them. Again, links will be down below so you can pick these up at an affordable price. I think that's gonna do it for me. Let me know your favorite Aventus clones in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.